This video demonstrates the capabilities of Skilligen software to learn and execute procedures which include controlling a mobile robot and using a robotic arm manipulator. The sample mobile robot shown in this video is equipped with a 6 degree of freedom robotic arm manipulator and a video camera mounted on the arm. The robot is trained to navigate to a certain place designated by a poster, pick up an object there, then carry the object to another place and drop it in a bin there. The first step in the procedure is to navigate to a Cinderella poster and turn left there. Then look for a Peter Pan poster there and drive close to it. The Peter Pan poster designates an object pickup point. After approaching the Peter Pan sign, the robot looks for a box, the object which needs to be transported to a bin. The robot picks up the object using its robotic arm manipulator. The bin's location is designated by the Everyone's Hero poster. The robot looks for that poster in order to locate the bin. After approaching the bin, the robot drops the object into the bin. Skilligent software allows the robot to be trained once to enable the robot to perform the procedure over and over again. Let's look at how a trained robot performs a procedure. One of the robot's users attracts the attention of the robot to a landmark object, the Cinderella poster. The user moves the poster back and forth in front of the robot's camera until the robot notices the poster. The robot searches its memory and discovers that the object is used in one of its already learned procedures. The robot assumes that the object is being moved by the user in order to tell the robot to execute the procedure. The user changes the pattern of the motion of the poster. This timely reaction tells the robot that the guess is correct and the user really wants the robot to perform the procedure. The robot begins the execution of the procedure by navigating to the first landmark object, the Cinderella poster. The object designates the first turning. After approaching the landmark, the robot turns left and starts navigating to the second landmark, which designates an object pickup point. The robot finds the box object at the pickup point. The robot grabs the object using its robotic arm. Now the robot needs to find the bin. During a training session, the robot learned how to find the bin. The robot turns left and looks for the third landmark, which designates the location of the bin. After approaching the landmark, the robot carefully positions its arm relative to the landmark and the bin. The robot drops the object into the bin. This video demonstrates the capabilities of skills and software to learn and execute procedures which require navigation and using a robotic arm to move objects around.